Hey guys, so today I have a really late August favorites. Um, today is actually Labor Day, so yeah, I'm about a week late on this, and I apologize for that, but life happens, and it happens fast when you have a baby, and um, honestly, I really wanted to film, you know, more often, but right now it's just really hard to make time. Um, it just is, and I realized that instead of stressing about making videos, I need to just relax and let it happen when I can, um, because, I mean, this is my hobby. This is what I do for fun. It's not my job. I mean, I'm going back to work in a few weeks, but not a whole lot, just a little bit, and um, this is something I do for fun, so I don't want to, like, stress myself out about getting a video up when it's not like I was the best at getting frequent videos up before but um yeah I just wanted to kind of take a breather and kind of reset because my first priorities are you know my home and my husband and my daughter and my daughter takes a lot of my time <laughs> so which is not a bad thing but yeah. So I don't really have a whole lot of time to watch as many videos either. I try to when I can. Um, but yeah, it's just been a little crazy. So moving on. Sorry for those of you that don't like to hear me blabber. Um, yeah, I always feel like rusty again when I haven't filmed in a few weeks. But anyway, I just want to share a few things that I've really been loving recently. So yeah, anyways, um, for primers, I've been liking both the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer and my little mini size of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, the Pore Minimizing one. Um, this, um, you have to make sure you get it really smooth pretty well. It can kind of bunch up and get a little patchy looking. Um, I am wearing it today under the L'Oreal Pro Matte, which I haven't worn in a while. Um, it was really hot and humid. I knew I wanted something that would last, um, even though we really weren't out very much. But, um, yeah. So when I want really mattifying, I like to use this one. And then if I just want something light, like under my Joy Matte Moisture Tint, I will reach for this one. So it's just a really great all around primer that pretty much any skin type can use so and I, of course I have very oily skin so I'm sure I'll like this even better like when it's colder and my skin doesn't get as oily so um yeah and then if I need it maybe I could use like this in the t-zone and this with the rest that might even work really well too um so yeah I've been really liking both of those primers um and another combo I used again recently several times um, is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. And this is in the shade 120 since I stopped self tanning because I got tired of trying to keep up with it. <laughs> but, um, and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N20. So this just, and even though this is a foundation and they say to add like four drops of this, even to like straight primer or moisturizer for full coverage. Um, for me, I don't feel like that gives full coverage. Like I'd probably need more drops than that if I was going to add it just something like that. Because I add three or four drops to this foundation since this is kind of a light to medium coverage foundation. So yeah. But anyways, I do like that combo. Um, I do feel like it might not be quite as long lasting as the foundation is by itself for some reason, but I do like it. So I'm interested to see how this does like in the fall and winter um, when my skin doesn't get as oily. So yeah, I've been liking that. And um, then some old oldies but goodies, some old things that I've kind of went back to. Um, MAC, well-dressed. Um, I should have worn this today, 
but I always forget about it. But I've worn this a lot this month and it's just that perfect kind of sheer billable pink. It's like the perfect color. It's the only MAC blush I own. I got it a while back at my CCO. And it's just a beautiful everyday kind of blush. And I don't know why. For some reason, I think I thought this was breaking me out before, but I used it a lot this month and it definitely wasn't. So, um, yeah. It's just a really beautiful blush. And I like it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I need to use that more often. It's just so pretty. And it's a satin so it's not totally matte but it's not like shimmer which I can't do either because I have huge pores oily skin and the most shimmer I can do is a little highlight and that's it so yeah really like that and I love the finish because it just kind of gives a nice glow to your face and then another favorite um, is Amazing Cosmetics Pink Chocolate this one is a matte, but to me I think it has more of a satin-ish finish. So, and I have hardly any left. Oh, I need to get another one of these eventually. But, yeah, and that's really saying something if I'll use up a blush and then buy it again. So, yeah, I've been really liking that. Um, just That's what I'm wearing today. It's just a really pretty pink. But I was in a hurry when I did my makeup today, so I don't know if you can really tell, but... Anyways, um, and then for kind of my brightening, kind of right here, I've been loving my NYX Radiant Finishing Powder. Um, I think I did, I talked about this off and on for a while now. This is still the same one um, that I've had for a while. I kind of avoid the one shimmery cube right there, the white one, because um, I don't want shimmer like all over in here because I'll make my pores look bigger but I'll just go around the matte ones and then if you don't have a highlight with you or you want to use this for travel or whatever you can just stick your finger in the shimmery one and put that wherever you want it um, but yeah so I really love that um, NYX Radiant Finishing Powder that's like it's just been a favorite for a while and I just kind of go off and on between that and my MAC Pro Shaping Powder and Emphasize. So, yeah. That's just kind of an old favorite. And then for eyeshadows this month, I've pretty much just been going back and forth um, between these two. Um, I haven't gotten any Makeup Geek shadows in a while. So, hopefully in a few months or so, I can get a few more. Because um, I haven't in so long. Which is kind of sad. Because I wanted to fill this palette up. This is very messy, <laughs> but um, I just love all of these. Um, uh, like today I'm just wearing creme brulee because I was in a hurry, that's all. Um, but yeah, I just love all of them. These are all really great ones for any quick everyday kind of look. Um, but yeah, like creme brulee, peach smoothie, Latte, Cupcake, Vanilla Bean, those are favorites, and then Shima Shima is a really great highlight. Um, Mango Tango, I need to play around with more this fall, because um, I loved it last fall, basically obsessed with it. I have a picture from last fall wearing just that um, on my Instagram somewhere. If you scroll down, it's you probably spot it, but you know. Um, yeah, so I've been just really, I can't even talk right now. So I've just been really enjoying those lately, and I'll stop blabbering. Um, yeah, I'm tired, and it's really hot in here. So, and then I've been loving my, oh, if I can get it open, <laughs> Naked 3 again. Um, I pretty much just do the same thing almost every time. I need to play around with it more. But I'll do Limit as Transition, Nooner, and The Crease. Those are both matte. And then a little Burnout on the lid. Um, I'll use um, Strange in the inner corner. Um, and then I'll do Liar and Factory on the lower lash line. So, yeah. Those are just really pretty. I absolutely love those kind of shades. They're just perfect. So, 
um, yeah, um, oh, one more thing I wanted to mention was the Cover FX Powder Foundation. I went back to this since I stopped self-tanning. I just have a little bit left in this one, but I do have a backup that I got a while ago that I still have in this color. Um, but it's not my self-tan color, so I wasn't using it a lot during the summer, but... I may want to get another one in my self-tanning color because I feel like this absorbs oil better and holds up kind of better than the Everyday Minerals uh, powder foundation, although that one is quite a bit cheaper. So I don't know. If I can get a discount again, I might just have to get a darker one in this again because I really like it, but we'll see. Anyways, and if you're wondering... Yes, my hair is different. Um, I've been using my Revlon Waver a little bit recently, and I really like it because when it's really humid like this, my hair does not like to stay straight at all. Um, so this is a lot easier, and it's well worth the few minutes extra that it takes. Um, it really doesn't take that long, especially since my hair isn't very long. But um, yeah, there's basically like no touch-up later in the day. I don't have to straighten my hair like two or three times if I'm going out again or something. So yeah, it's just a lot easier and it doesn't feel like it's like all on my face or anything. So yeah. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss new videos. Um, yeah. So that's it and I will talk to you